Hi guys, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be going through the interior of my 997. Done the, the first video last week, uh, we've done the exterior, so today we are going to go and have a look at the, the car on the inside and have a look at the, the modifications I've done. Uh, and some bits and pieces of tidying up, the car's getting a little bit older now, 15 years. So let's go have a look. Right guys, this is my Gen 1997, uh, the car is sea blue, I'm really struggling with the camera here to try pick up the colours, uh, try the GoPro and other bits and pieces of my video camera here, uh, and it just not pick up the colour of the interior unfortunately. So the car is sea blue, uh, came standard from the factory with the full leather option, so sports seats, Dash all trimmed in leather, door cards trimmed in leather, and obviously the back quarter panels uh, all trimmed in leather. Comes with a lovely black Alcantara headliner. I can't really pick that up. Uh, as I said, I was going to try to film this outside, but as you know, the weather is absolutely atrocious just now. So, car's got the electric seats, all st standard from factory. All still in perfect working order as you expect from Bosch. Right, where do we start? We'll start with the steering wheel. Uh, when I first got the car, it was one of the things I absolutely hated about the car. Uh, so the steering wheel was taken off, it was sent away, and it was retrimmed in matching sea blue leather. Uh, we also had the diameter of the steering wheel uh, thickened, and we had some thumb grips just added in. Just to give the steering wheel a little bit more, more look. This is one of the things that I will be changing. It's one of the last things to get changed in the car. I will be upgrading this steering wheel. A lot of the guys have done it, I think it's from the McCann. Uh, so that will be happening this year. I do have one that I'm going to get organised and get sorted out. Uh, so that will be getting upgraded just to make little things a little bit more modern inside. So as we do a quick look around, the car looks fairly standard. Uh, and that's what I was going for. So we went from getting the steering wheel done, we also sent the gator away at that time and we had the handbrake lever and we had the cubby hole all trimmed. I said this car is sea blue guys, it's not really picking up the colour very well at all. So that was all retrimmed. This is all new leather. All retrimmed, all new leather. Let's see just slide this seat back here. Gives a bit better view. So once I had sort of retrimmed that, sort of stuck with the car for a little bit, uh, and then the next big bugbear on this model, the car, the 997, was the PCM unit. As anybody knows, it was very badly dated and sort of out the arc. So upgraded the PCM. So while I had all this stripped out, anybody will know this is usually quite a it's like a silvery gold colour, this in standard form. So while the car was in bits, stripped all of this out, took all the buttons out from the the unit here. Uh, as people know as well, these buttons notoriously fade. Over the years we're getting pushed up and down. So those were sent away and refurb professionally. And those are in perfect working order again. As I said, I took all the buttons out of that unit uh, and sent it away to the paint shop. So the paint shop repainted all this. It's actually a citron colour, believe it or not. Uh, but it matched the car really, really well and it's I went for a matte finish. I also done, if I just come back out the car again, I also done the centre console. So as anybody knows, the, 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 the 997s came with like a rubberised finished and I suppose back in the day it was uh, it looked really nice, but as the years come on, it gets a bit soft and it gets scratched, and it, this was in a terrible mess. Uh, a lot of the guys tend to go for a finish, uh, the same as the car on this. I didn't want that. I really didn't want it. I wanted to open the door, and I wanted to have it as factory as possible. Uh, but I just wanted it obviously to look a lot better and just be a nicer a nicer finish. So I think what we're looking for was sort of OME plus, as the as the sort of the guys sort of say. So that was all stripped out, and I've had all that repainted, and I think you'll see if you come back a little bit, you know, it just, everything just matches in in the car really nice now. 
we had this done as well again, marked badly with the key over the years. That was stripped out and repainted as well. You know, just to, just just getting to the stage where it's just a little bits in the car now, just to get it finished off. So that was the 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 sort of paintwork done inside the car. One other thing we had painted was the door handles. As you can tell, these tend to just get it's just wear and tear, isn't it? The car's now 14, 15 year old. So these were looking a little bit dull, a little bit scratched. So the body shop done these as well. Took them back and just kept them silver, pretty much the same as what they were. Uh, and they look virtually, virtually brand new again. I've still got a few bits here that still have the original blue, but they're in fairly good condition and I may eventually, or may not eventually, just, just sort of get to them. So that was the, the sort of the interior done. At this point, I hadn't, I hadn't touched the seats in the car. Uh, but my car, my car is comfy, just slide this forward again. My car came with the lovely hard back seats, fortunately enough. So, as you will see, I just pull that up. I've had these painted as well. So they were that, that sort of goldy silver sort of colour. So I had the seats fully dismantled and they were sent away back to the paint shop again. I had a local trim shop uh, pull, pull the seats apart for me. So we've had all them, all that done as well. Again, it's finished in this this blue colour. It's like a citron blue, but it just gives a lovely, lovely contrast between the leather uh, and just what I was looking for. I didn't want it to stand out. I didn't want a gloss finish in the car, you know. So we stripped all these bits have been done as well. It was all stripped out and all repainted. Seats are in fairly good condition for the age of the car. You know, it's got some, it's got some crease marks, but you know, nothing that you wouldn't expect in a car this age, but what I did have down the stitch in here this was just, the sti the leather wasn't torn or damaged but the stitching was frayed the stitching would all began to fray just be, just be getting in and out of the car passenger side's fine so while I had the, 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 the car in bits, the upholster guy uh, they hand picked all the stitching out and they found the proper stitching uh, and they restitched, they restitched this for me and it just looks absolutely fantastic now so when you open the door it this looks it, it's also looking factory fresh in the car the next thing I done was the seat belts now these were these were a big bone of contention on the on the forums again uh, everybody said I still went red the car has red calipers because it is an S version so it had red now saying go with red seat belts but one day while out uh, I think I was going to work actually I looked up and I seen a lorry driver and he had red seat belts and that was the end of that for me I was not putting red seat belts into the car when I'd seen them in a in a commercial vehicle so I thought no something different so what I've gone for is that, again I'm not sure how the camera's going to pick this up but this is a, a, like a silver colour ties in really really well so that that silver seat belt was upgraded. These were done by Colour Concept. Uh, they turned the seat belts around about four days from me, I believe, from me sending them away to them rewebbing the seat belts and sending them back to me. So we had we had that done. We had that done, and we've also had I've also had the seat belts done in the back of the car as well. I just hope the camera's doing this this work justice. So we had the back done. Obviously, when I done all this work, I learned very quickly how to strip out a 997. So I had all the back panels out, all the back quarter panels out, uh, the seats out, the Bose system out uh, to get the seat belts. But it's a it's a fairly easy job. So we kept the pockets. I say I wanted to just try to keep it as factory as original and as, as sort of OME looking as possible. So we kept the pockets. I was going to do away with them, have that filled in, and take the pockets away. But I've kept them and it just gives a nice a nice contrast there. So coming back to back into the car again, let's come back in. And you'll notice one of the big things I've changed is the hedge unit. Big bugbear for me when I got the car. Absolutely hated the old PCM unit. So went for this state-of-the-art pioneer unit. This hedge unit is totally wireless. Don't need any cables, 
don't need a cable to connect it for Apple CarPlay, bring my phone into the car, turn the car on and my phone automatically uh, connects. In fact, if I just, let me see if I can just hold this here. I'm actually filming this week on a video camera just to see if I can get a bit better quality and come off my phone. So I don't, I don't have my phone on me just now. So, but that pops out like that. We'll click that. So that's the, the system I have got in the car. So it's really, really good. Just switch it on and it automatically connects. It also has the option, I believe, if I can bring it down, which I think is this one. Yep. That's like that DVD in there as well. So we can pop that back up again. Oh, there we go. So there we go. So I don't have my phone, you see no device connected. Uh, but that's the head unit I fitted to the car. So I fitted that and then I thought, mm, how could I charge my phone without plugging it in? So I have run a USB lead from the head unit through the centre console and it comes down into here where you can see I have fitted a charging mat so I now bring my phone into the car connects, connects up to Apple CarPlay I can simply just throw my phone in there and it's charging, it charges on the car mat so I've just sort of dragged the car out of the the early 2000s and sort of tried to bring it up to date as much as possible and that's, a, that's another nice wee touch that I've done I don't know if anybody else has done that but I try just to, to think outside the box a wee bit when I'm when I'm doing the bits for my car. So that's another little bit I've done. I've also got the cigarette lighter in here where I have a little USB for some extra charge ports. Just shove that in and that will come on and I just I just keep it pulled out so it's not sitting on all the time. And that sits in there. Like that. One of the other things I've done, I don't know if I can manage to pick this up. I've had to pull the car over to one side of the garage guys because I was really wanting to do this outside but down here most of you will know in the passenger footwell there's, a, there's an old there's an old cigarette lighter I have taken that out can I get it? can I pick it up? there we go you'll probably not be able to read that that's a voltmeter with a USB in it so I've changed that as well so that's another nice little touch it just lets me I can check the voltage in the car as well so 13.4 all good and it's sitting on charger and I can turn that off and put the little flap down. So that's another little thing that I just modernised. Some other little touches that I've done. LED lights. Uh, put white lights in. Made, just, just transformed the car inside again. And we've got them up in here as well. So we've got some nice white lights inside the car. Uh, and they make a huge, huge difference as well. Just, it's just all about sort of modernisation for me uh, with the car. Uh, no one to, to go mad too much because the 997s inside that are really, really nice. Uh, and to be, I just turn this round. To, to be honest, one of the reasons that I uh, that I wanted a 997 was the interior. I had looked at 996s as well at the time. Headlights didn't bother me in the 996, in fact I think the 996 S4, uh, the four wheel drive, wide body car, I think that's going to be an absolute classic in the years to come, I think it's a beautiful looking car, the Gen 2 model, absolutely stunning, uh, and I said the headlights were never, an, were never a worry for me, what was a worry for me, I just felt the 996 interior was looking really, really old and dated, whereas this you still get the, pretty much the, the feel of a modern car in it. So I think that's just about it guys, I think that's everything I've done just now. Uh, what else have I got planned to do? As I say, I'm going to, I'm going to do the steering wheel, I'm going to change the steering wheel. Car's on its original car mats and the driver's one's just beginning to show a, a little bit of wear and tear now. So I'm, I'm on the hunt for a new set of car mats, I'll wait till something comes up. Uh, we'll get the steering wheel changed over, as I said to you in the previous video. I'm going to change the front glass in the car. It's got a few marks on it. Get the front glass off and get it changed, okay? So that's uh, that'll be there's something else I'll get done this year. I do have a spoiler coming for the back of it. Uh, we're just in the process of organising that just now. So, as the professional say, guy, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to me. I'm really going to try work on the channel. I think I'm going to change the name 
because I, I want to bring a lot of car content and I want to go when we get allowed back out of this crazy world that we're in, I want to get back out, do some car shows, do some uh, videos uh, at car shows, I go to all the car shows, I go to tracks, I go to all the big shows, so as much as I'm a Porsche guy, I'm a car guy as well, so well, maybe how we think about changing the name of the channel, just so we can uh, we can cover a bit more content, but that's my, my sort of long term plan, but it's all done to use guys, if I get enough subscribers and we get the channel moving, then uh, that'll let me do some more things as well, so there you go, as usual guys, any questions, bob them down below, uh, don't be scared to, to ask us some questions, I'll try and answer them the best I can, anything you've seen that I've done in the car today, uh, and we'll see if we can answer them for you. As I say, please subscribe to the channel, give us a thumbs up and like the videos, uh, and we'll get some more done. Uh, I've got quite an interesting one coming up. Maybe, maybe next week we're going to talk about uh, we're going to talk about car clubs in the next video. All right, take care, guys. See you soon. Cheers.